Hello, everyone. I'm Emily Anderson, and I'm here with the Bridging Program, which is part of Champlain Community Services, and it is comprised of students from five area high schools, and that large group of 14 students has been broken into three smaller groups, and I'm here with one of them today. Hello, Emily. My name is Edward. Our group name is GMAC and Jarvis on Joe. Awesome. Welcome. My name is Emma. Would you like to share your name with the with the audience? Yeah. What are you thinking about? <laughs> We're thinking about a lot of things. What is your name? Do you want to share that with the audience out there? Nova. Awesome. It's Cal. Beautiful. Well, no. So yes, they say. I always did. Oh, I didn't hear yeah. you. Edward started off. So this year, I challenged the students on September 19th when we were all here with Kathy Resmer, who created the Good Citizen Challenge, to all take parts of this challenge this year and make a TV show about it. So this group has been doing some pretty great research, and today we'll each be sharing what they worked on. And I think we're going to do it one by one. So we're going to snap everybody away. Well, here I am with you, Noah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to share your three challenges. But first, I was wondering if you would share something that you really wanted to make sure ended up in the show. Mm -hmm. Could you share your sneaker? Yep. Okay, we'll hold it up high. It's got these great, yeah, it's got these great, what would you say, flashing lights? Yeah. Awesome. Great sneaks. It's nice to know they're, they're shimmering away on the set. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Would you like to share, so you had three, you did two big challenges and one small one. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share, and you created a, a visual piece. Yep. Alger's Good Citizen Challenge. I took a virtual tour of Fort Ticonderoga. I learned about the Revolutionary War and how ships would come into Lake Champlain and the cannons would fire at the ships. Awesome. So that was the first challenge. This is your second one. Do you want to read it? I researched and read a story from the Colchester Sun. It was about a trout program that allows trout to be raised in the classroom. The teachers can use the fish to teach the kids about math, science, art, and so much more. So that was your big challenge, and this is your small no, challenge. No. Do you want to read this one? No. Okay. I also learned about the Vermont Estate motto, which is freedom and unity. The motto was first adopted in 1788 for use on the great seal of the Vermont Republic. Ira Allen designed the Vermont seal and is often credited as its author. Awesome, that's great. What do you like about this seal? What do you see in it? What's that? What's that? A cow. Yeah. What do you think that is? Yeah. It's beautiful. Do you like this? The seal? Uh, yeah. How it looks? Can you imagine drawing something like that? I wish. You wish? Yeah, yeah. I think you would do, I would think you would make a really great seal. Um, anything you want to say to the Vermont, the CCTV audience? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna Vermont. I also learned about the Vermont Estate Motto which is freedom and unity. The motto was first adopted in 1788 for use on the great seal of the Vermont Republic. Ira Allen designed the Vermont seal and is often credited as its author. I think that's a great thing to give a little extra emphasis to. Mm -hmm. Noah, thank you for taking the challenge. You're welcome. Do you want to snap in the next person with me? Yep. So I'm here with Pascal, who did two really fun uh, citizen challenges. 
And I love that they include her artwork. She's an amazing illustrator. Um, and I think they're, they're going to come up on the screen, but just in case they don't, um, I'll hold them up. But do you want to share the first one? Okay. Here is a comic strip of the three branches of government by Mike Kalf. So your challenge was, was to make a comic strip about the government. And I love that you um, found one. And you also created your own version of it. So I'll hold that up when you tell what it is. The first branch of government is called legislative. Well, that's right here. The second branch of government is judicial. The third branch of government is Fox and Friends. Oh, that's your, the punchline of the comic. Beautiful. Any, anything you like? In, what's your favorite part of this picture? And it might be nothing at all. But I love your version of it. Ready to move on to the next one? OK. This is a beautiful portrait you've created. Here is a picture of Phyllis Wheatley. She was one of the best known poets in pre 19th century America. She started writing poetry at the age of 13. She was also one of the first African American poets to be published in the United States. Beautiful. Beautiful portrait, Pascal. Thank you so much for the great work that you did on the Citizen Challenge. You ready to snap in the next person? Awesome. Hello, Edward. So great to have you here to share your, your work on the Good Citizen Challenge. What did you work on? I worked, I worked on Free Now War. And was there a certain re a reason that you did that? Because my dad was in Fiji no War. So it has a real personal significance for you. Yeah. You wearing his hat? Yep. Awesome. Great. And you um, you created a beautiful piece of writing. Yep. Would you like to share it? Yeah. Fiji no War was a bad war. Fiji no War started November first, nineteen fifty-five. And it October 30th, 1975. Death and Fiji War for U.S. military was 200,000. For Fiji is 200, 250,000. Some dream home alive. Some dream home in the box with a fight on the box. Some people didn't jump back from the war. They don't date it anymore. They date themselves. Yeah. That's a, I love that you spent some time working on that. And you found some great photographs yep. over at the Burnham Memorial Library where all of you did your great research. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to share? That's it. That's it. One thing I love is that I know you live so close to the studio. I mm -hmm. think that's cool that, that you have a public access station right here so close to you. So whenever you want to share something like this that's really important to you, you mm -hmm. have this opportunity if you want. Any final words to the, to, nope. the, to the audience out there? Nope. You're good? Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a moment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Edward. And here I am with Emma. So Emma, you worked on three challenges. Yeah. Uh, and two were big, one was small. I think it was your small one the first one. The, the state, the uh, 
share share your work. I know some of it isn't finished because uh, you had a doctor's appointment on Monday, so you couldn't do the artwork part of it. But your research is amazing, so I look forward to you sharing it. I re I research on one of them is called Vermont State Motto. Freedom and unity is the official motto of the U.S. state of Vermont. The motto was first adopted in 1788 for use or the great seal of the Vermont Republic. Ira Allen designed the Vermont seal and is often created as its author. Yeah. And so we saw we saw the seal in Noah's piece. So I love that that you both worked on this. So we got sort of both ver both of your input on this. And your next challenge. What what was the challenge around voting? What did you want to do? Uh, make a poster on voting. So people should picture a poster with these words on it or these images? Yeah. Okay. The title is called You Should Vote. You should vote for people who want to be equal or to be treated equal. You should vote for fair laws. You need to be at the age of 18 to vote. Awesome. It's inspirational and it gives some guidelines too. Great. I love it. I can't wait to see it. What color do you think will be very, what colors do you want to have in your poster? What do you picture when you picture it right now? Pink and purple. I thought you might say that. I love that. <laughs> okay, and then your last one. I can't wait to see the final product on this one. What was your last challenge? My last challenge was to write a poem on U.S. And were you going to do a specific kind of poem? A haiku poem. And a haiku doesn't have a lot of words in it, right? It's sort right. of very specific. So I love that you have a lot of information and it'll get reduced down into just the right words to say this. What did you want to share? The U.S. is the fourth largest country. U.S. customs more petroleum than any other country in the world. The U.S. is a country located in North America. The country has a population of over 325 million, mark, making it the third most populous, populous in the world. Awesome. So those are a lot of big thoughts, but the cool thing about a haiku is it can hold really big thoughts, but share them in a really short, concise way. So I look forward to that. That's a great challenge. Anything else you want to say? No. Okay. You ready to call the rest of the Green Mountain Travelers on the go back? Yes. Okay. So I want to thank all of you for taking the Good Citizen Challenge. Noah, excellent work. Pascal, excellent work. Edward, excellent work. Emma, excellent work. And we all want to thank the, stu the audience out here. Thank you very much. We can all give a wave. And we have one final word from Edward. What's up? Excellent work, everybody. <laughs> Good work. <laughs>